Hey friends, welcome back to our channel, Project Vagrant. I'm Joey, and today we're gonna walk you through the setup of our water system in our van. Now I'm installing these, I think it's one and a half inch um, male pipe thread to three fourths inch garden hose thread, because we can use this obviously to fill up the tank and then also to drain the tank. And I'm also installing, so I've got this top one already on, I'm also installing this little plastic valve. Hopefully this holds up, and this also gives us threads to screw to that aren't straight to the adapter, so if these threads get worn out, it'll be all fine. I can remove this and replace it pretty easily. Got one more to install down here, and I'm using this plasto joint stick. You rub this stuff on the male threads, it's kind of like this formable putty, and it helps it stay sealed. Half inch male to male uh, screwed in. And then the silencing, SureFlow silencing kit, which connects filter, to pump, to accumulator. One of the little mounting bracket points on our accumulator broke off while it was in our big box here, so that kind of sucks, but I think it's gonna be fine. Um, I think I'm gonna use an inch and a fourth Craig screws to actually mount this. Let's see what Tosh is up to. She's staining the ceiling of the overhead cabinet. Ooh. Listen, do not judge me. Do not judge me. I feel like this does not look good at all. But it hasn't dried yet. Yeah, I think it's just a light when it dries some. Maybe I'll just leave it alone. I don't know. Everything that I read online said that this was how you did it. But I don't... I've never done stain before. So... Yeah, I think it's gonna be... I'm about to mount this sucker up. And then I guess keep on trucking. And from here, the, from the accumulator, we've got one more of these silencing hoses. And then we'll use one more of the half inch male to male that they included. And then from there, we'll probably convert to PEX. This is a half inch female to PEX. And then we'll start uh, running a PEX line down this little pathway to our sink. All right, so I've now mounted the pump. The accumulator. This is kind of roughed up there. You can see the screw head right here. I mean, not screw head, but the screw, um, whatever you want to call them, the threads. I'm going to put a little shield or something around this because this wire could hit it. I don't want to damage it. This does a little bend. I almost just went straight from this to PEX. Decided not to because this is what silences um, the accumulator a good bit. This vinyl uh, PVC hose. Back to the half inch male to male, and then to pecs, and then I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a T here that goes up for our hot, our hot water system. Sorry, Tasha is just, <laughs> I don't know my Sorry. damn nerves. Just, just freaking me out. I'm gonna put a T here, and then I'm gonna put a shut off valve for the hot water heater for, the, for showering, and then I'll put another valve right after that for just turning off the water to the sink. Got my pecs. Um, the crimp gun thing, not gun, crimp tool. Said valves, T, yep. So I just ran it from the other side, checked this is about how long I need with a little extra length. I'm going to actually just step back here, always trim it if needed. There we go. So I think the best way to do this with this crimp gun to get it that eighth inch gap you need from the edge is to grab it with the tool. I keep calling it a gun, I don't know why. And then align it using the tool. And once you got it where you want it. There we go. And this is I, the tool I'm using is ratcheting, so it actually won't let go. 
All right, friends. So starting where we left off, I ran the line down to under our bench seat here. I've not done anything with this. I had to run to Home Depot this morning and get a half inch Mel pipe thread to half inch PEX barb converter. Couldn't find one of these on Amazon. Probably could have found one on eBay, but if you guys are not having luck, check out your local hardware store. I'm going ahead and looking at my hardware for our water filter. So I just quickly mounted it under this seat where it's gonna live. I'll show you. So there it is, three stage filter. So we're gonna have this tap here. It's gonna be pure filtered water, purely filtered water. I'll have the other. Oh man, did I just realize I'm missing something? Hold on. So I just got back from Home Depot. I got this 3 8 inch compression tee. And the reason that I needed to get this is because if I just hooked up the cold water and left the hot water unhooked, if the faucet ever got bumped towards the hot water, then it would leak because that would just be wide open. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna hook up cold water to both sides using this. And that's gonna make it uh, probably just the most enjoyable experience where you can just kind of turn the faucet whichever way we want and we'll just have water coming through. So now I'm gonna start hooking up, taking apart the filter like I was talking about and kind of getting the filter all set. I'm gonna go ahead and screw this on um, just to have this little piece kind of all ready to go besides the line that's actually gonna go to the filter. So I'm gonna go ahead and hook this up uh, and screw on the water lines just to have it ready. This is some joint compound that'll help the threads stay sealed or seal in general. The way you use it, you just rub it onto the male threads very generously. Seems like it's got a decent seal. I need a piece of PEX to go there and then up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and measure, cut a piece out that goes up and does everything I need. And then I'm gonna crimp it right here. That way I don't have to deal with trying to crimp in this tight little area. So I'll crimp that piece together and then crimp it on. clip and then I need to push this in there and then I need to push it in and I really th think I think that's it to be good. So now I'll just pop this little clip in. As it's starting to rain right now, I'm trying to get my move on. I just finished uh, mounting the first faucet. I had to secure our countertop down because it wasn't secured very well. Now that it's secured, it's starting to sprinkle. I'm gonna go ahead and mount our filtered water faucet. So the last thing I need to do is connect the tube from the filter here through the entry hole and up to the faucet for the filtered water. Put in the little locking clip. So now I've got the quick connect that came with the water filter tab. basically done. Wow. So now I just need to get some water in the tank and hook up some power to it and test it out. Uh, I also need to mount the gray water tank still underneath here. That's going to be the next thing I'm going to do real quick. So, 
So I need to shave some of this plastic off this because it's gonna make things fit a little better together. So I'm gonna hit that with the jigsaw. And that'll work for what I need. So when I was under the van, there's an area right here in front of these bolts. It's perfect. Go for it. So now I need to empty that thing. Now you may want to be careful. If you get the metal plate out, it might be hot. Oh wow, that's undercoating. That's a big, thick layer of undercoating. Oh, but the metal plate is in there. Show you guys what I ended up with. Actually, this needs to be bumped out just a little bit for it to be even, I think. But yeah, I'm about to pre-drill these holes with this small drill bit. I can't remember the size, but I'll overlay it. And then I'm gonna mount the braces with number 10 flathead Phillips screws. Let's see if I can find you guys somewhere to chillax. Let's lace it through. Lace it through. All right, so now I'm probably gonna cut it about right here. Maybe a little shorter. Let's start with here. We're just gonna use this pipe cutter for literally everything now. And to keep this from fraying, you'll want to take a lighter, melt the edge of it. I don't have a lighter on hand right now, but a bit later. What are we doing? All right, friends. Friends. We got, I don't know, roughly 10 gallons of water, maybe closer to eight, something, it doesn't matter. Um, we got some water in the water tank. I have this line ran to the fuse box. I'm gonna wire up the pump directly. I don't have a switch on hand to install yet, but this is fine, because there's gonna be water in the tank. We're just gonna test everything for leaks now. Get the water, or the pump on first, test everything for leaks. Fingers crossed. Just gonna splice these cables together real quick. Kick on. Testing for leaks. That water was already there. Oh, this is scary. There we go. And then I need to open this valve. I don't see any leaks up to this point. Awesome. Yeah, everything looks good. Okay, so I'm gonna open this valve up and it's probably gonna kick on again because it just built that pressure to this point. And then I'm gonna run over there. And make sure there's nothing moving on this side. Oh. And then... Whoa. What? Come here and look at the water filter. It's filling up with water. Oh, cool. You can see it. I don't know if they can see it. Probably not anymore. I don't see anything leaking. Hold on, watch out. Wow. No leaks. Yay. So far, so far. That's exciting. Hello, sink. Can your rabbit be put to use? We gotta wait for that to, you hear it still pumping? Yeah. Once it stops, it'll have enough pressure we can kick it on and It sounds scary. All right, babe. Okay. Ah, I'm nervous. Oh, there. Let me, hold on, let me just double check. Gray water tank, everything's good, okay. So now. You just wanna take that thing out? Yeah. Yes, let's lift this one. I don't know why I feel so nervous. Oh, a little rough at first. Hey, what's gonna, it's gonna be. Hey, bro. Hey, that water looks grody. No leaks on the drain either. And you hear it draining down into that? Yeah, wow, you did such a good job. Are you proud? Yeah. That's awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you got any value from this, please hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and we'll catch you guys next week. Thanks.